So they had tempted the entire movie with the score from Speed, which drove me crazy because every time I saw Will Smith running, they had bum, 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 you know, and I'm going, no, I can't, you know. So my theme was bum, 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 which is basically, yeah. basically upside down, right? I mean, yeah. Speed theme upside down. But um, it worked. And um, what I was really happy about is I saw, uh, right before COVID, I saw Bad Boys 3. Okay. And it starts with my themes. And the, my themes are throughout that movie um, from the original Bad Boys. Uh, I didn't do it. But but um, it's really cool that they that Bruckheimer wanted to hold on to that as a, as a signature, um, which is cool. Because as soon as you hear that, dun, 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 you know it's Bad Boys. You, know, you just kind of go, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because I was going to ask you that there's very much similarities in the Bad Boys. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I stole for myself. That's okay. Yeah. It makes it makes, and I think a lot of composers and even filmmakers, you know, there's a lot of uniqueness in every project that we do, but also some things that just never leave us, even if we try to. It's just it just kind of embeds in the in us, right? Um, and when you have done the score or the first draft of the score, what's What's the process like? Does the, you sit with director like Yann de Bond or uh, Michael Bay, you know, just to kind of go through it, or does he give you notes, or what's that like? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's um, it's awful, really, because I mean, you're, you're, you know, you work, uh, you, 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 you're gonna play them maybe, maybe two to three scenes that are maybe two minutes each mm -hmm. that you worked on for a week and a half, whatever it is. Um, and depending on who you're working with and depending on who's involved and in, who has a voice, the meeting can go great. It can go south. It, you know, uh, with Michael Bay, it would go south all the time. Um, with Jan, it was great. And Jan had some great ideas. I'll tell you one great idea Jan had. Sure. Okay, so um, the melody from Speed is in a minor key. Dee da dee da da, dee da dee da da, dee da da. Right? Yeah. So I did that when the when he rescues Sandy Bullock uh, out of the bus and, and on the on the little cart and they go flying. Yeah. So yeah. I went right to da 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 in the minor key, and I thought it was great. And Jan came in, and he said, I don't know. And I go, what do you mean you don't know? That's the theme to our movie. And he goes, I know, but it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have any joy. It doesn't have any release. And I was like, no, you're crazy. And then he left. And I sat there going, he's wrong, he's wrong. And then I went, wait a minute. He's right. All I have to do is put that into a major key. All I have to do is rather than play it in E minor, play it in a relative major, which is G major, keep the theme exactly the same but play the major chords under it, which it's a whole different thing, man. And when you see that scene, it still gives me chills because it's just so right, you know, that, that we finally went into this beautiful major, like heroic part of that theme. So, yeah. you know, sometimes, you know, you get notes and you think you guys are nuts, but then you look at it and, and they could be right. So it's a tough one. Um, and then, you know, a lot of the times it's not just the director. It might be the director and two producers and a music editor. They all have an opinion. Really so one guy says it's too fast, it's too slow, it's too this, you know. Um, it kind of depends also, you know, on the trust. Because when you're working with people that trust you, they tend to think that you know better. And when you're working with people that are like, I don't know about this guy, this man, she and a guy, I don't know about this guy. The whole time it's just awful, you know, because they're just, just doubting you the whole way. And I'm glad you mentioned that, right? Because that happens in every form of creative arts uh, like you know even myself as a, as a as a director in documentary films when I'm talking to potential you know investors or even producers or anything like that sometimes people just give you full trust and those are the people at least me I find that I want to make sure that I do justice to like I get more motivated you want to do good work for them you right because they trust you they put faith in you not saying that others don't, that you don't. Sometimes that there's an exception to that, but it's not. It's just not the same thing. 
and and I and I feel that that's why it's so important to you know have your say, but at the same time put trust. If you've hired someone, there's a reason you must have hired them. I agree. I agree, and and it's so frustrating when they don't because you're kind of like, well, what'd you hire me for? You know. Yeah. Um, or, or if they want you to, to, to copy a score from somebody else and you just go, well, why don't you hire him? Well, you know, don't hire me to do that. Does that happen? Without we're talking about that. Um, oh, sure. Well, Michael Bay is a, pr a prime example of that. Um, um, I just, I never could connect with him. I thought Bad Boys 1 was a killer score. Um, and I remember him saying to me, why does everybody talk about the music for the foot chase? It's not that great. I was like, that's just not something that you would say to me. That's a weird thing to say to me. But anyway, um, there's a lot of great people out there. I've, you know, I've, I've worked with people that are really wonderful too. Like I said, with Jan, you know, give me a really great idea um, and, and let me run with it. I just did a movie with Chris Williams. I've done two movies with Chris. One was Moana, and then the last one was The Sea Beast. And um, really difficult stuff. But not difficult because he's difficult. Difficult because he's smart and he has a vision. And we we try to line up, and it's hard to line up with music sometimes. Um, but it was never insulting. It was never, you know, this is garbage or anything like that. Yeah. Does it worry you if ever you did a track or a soundtrack or a theme, and? The director came up to you and said, "Okay, you know, throughout the soundtrack, okay, this is great. Like, not questioning you. Does, does that worry you, or do you question yourself if nobody questions you? Does that ever happen?" You know, I worked with. Um... Oh gosh, his name just went out of my head. I can't believe this. Joe Rubin, Joseph Joseph Rubin. I okay. I did I did Money Train. I did. Oh, you know what? I've done three movies with him. I did Money Train. I did Return to Paradise, which was a really good movie that most people have not seen. I haven't with, seen it yet. I've with Anne Heche and Vince Vaughn, it's a really good movie. Oh, um, yeah, Return to Paradise, yes. Yeah, and, and it's good. And um, those two scores, especially Return to Paradise, he was really on my side. And, and the, it's one of my better scores, in my opinion. I think it's one of my strongest scores. And he, he let me go. So... You know, I, I can't say that I questioned myself. I really felt like I was doing the right thing. And now when I, again, when I played that movie for my daughter or my brother, and my brother's like, it's one of his favorite movies of mine, uh, the score really holds up. And I only had 14 people. So it was a very small budget, small um, score. But um, I think really, really cool. Um, so, you know, I've... I don't know what struggles the other guys go through. I, I, Alan Silvestri is a close friend of mine, and I have uh, other friends that Tom Newman I've talked to many, many times, had dinner with. And uh, everybody goes through hell, you know, in some way or another. And, and Tommy Newman is just such a great composer, and you would think that people would just trust him to do whatever the heck he wants because he's so good. But it's, it's the same thing. It's always the same thing. It's subjective. So it's one man's opinion against another man or woman. Yeah. Yeah, t t Thomas Newman. I, mean, I listen to one of the uh, scores quite often. Wrote the tradition, you know, the one. Yeah.